Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please feel free to subscribe and check out my Patreon where you can find early and uncut reactions to episodes like this and all of my other social media stuff. Check it out. Oh man. Ano osanaki hi. Watashi wa kono yo no shinjitsu to mukai atta. That day. お前たちも飛行船を見に来たのか。はい。レベリオ収容区のものだ。外出許可証を見せろ。持ってません。無許可で市内に入ったんだな。どうなるか分かっているな。はい。労働か、制裁か。僕が妹を無理やり連れ出しました。妹の分も僕に制裁を下さい。分かった。お兄さん。もう一発。全く容赦ねえな。
前は誰よりもマーレの教えに従順に従わなければならないエルディアの屈辱はあなたが晴らすのようん分かったしかし私は知っていたはずだ親がこう自らの思想に染め上げる罪深さを王家の血を引く子でもエルディア復権の希望でもなくジーク自身と向き合ったことが一度でもあっただろうか何にせよジークは自らと祖父祖母の安全を選んだ愚かな両親をマーレ政府に差し出すことと引き換えにそう、あれ、インフォメーション。Oh my god! I forgot how much information dump this was. That was a lot. そうだエルディア人反逆者の流刑地。わかえろ、フクロウは誰だ<笑>もうやめてくれすべて話しちゃうもうはそれは残念だ。<笑>もう一本行こう。<笑>お前にすべてを託したのが間違いだったんだ復権はもうダイナモン何とか言えよすまない息のいいのがいるなお前は自由だクラッシュクラッシュ下にまっすぐ走れ運が良かったら壁までたどり着けるぞ妹を殺した当局の男さあ今回は数が多いぞどんどんやっていこくれ。こいつにはまだ尋問したいことがある。先に進めてくれ。お、次は女か。もう大名。悪魔の血じゃなきゃな。ダイナ。あなた。なぜここにこれはアライザライ全部話したぞ。エレンとミカサは平均班のお勤め中だよ。怖い夢でも見たのエレンああそうだよ今さ私はって言ったえ言ってた泣いてるのエレン親父の記憶とつながったあの巨人お前だったんだな Yeah, why is she up there? The one that ate his mom. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I hope he pushes him over. Push him over, push him over. Mm. 
たいことはわかるもし息子が同じ目にあったらと思うと胸が締め付けられるかわいそうにエルディア人でさえなければな見ろあれがお前らの正体なんだぞ巨人の脊髄液を体内に吸収しただけで巨大な化け物になるお前らエルディア人をこの世から一匹残らず駆逐するこれは全人類の願いなんだよだと心は痛まなかったのか嘘だ俺は真実を知っているシソユミルは大陸の人々を言うだかねなあ分かったよ偉大な歴史があったんだろ下にいる友達と語り合うといいやめろだからなそうだ妹が呼んでるぞ<笑> so open for that. Why did I feel bad? Because it was fun to watch. That's, that's the symbolism. Ah. There's so much there. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah. Wow. If you, you're probably gonna have a lot of questions. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, a lot happened. Yeah. But that symbolism right there with the, you know, it was fun. Like that guy was enjoying him fun and then we were just enjoying him dying. Yeah. It's just it's just the it's full the circle. Same, yeah. It's awful that symbolism. It's just like yeah, yeah, I enjoyed him dying. I enjoyed him dying, but they're not bad people, and they were killing them. I know, but so it's, he was a bad person. But it still so... still reciprocates, you know, right. what his whole conversation was. Like it really does make sense in this real world. That's why I like the show so much. That was such like a holy shit oh, symbolism, awful, like though, real world. The way he was talking about it, though, like I know, but people you know, think bores, about that. So I'm gonna go in. Think about that. That's what people do in the real world. Yeah, it's awful. Just a subtle way of showing, like, real humans. Yeah. People are like that. Well, this whole, the whole entire show, I mean, if you really, really dig into it, I mean, it's all filled with symbolism, yeah. everything, and it all reflects on the world we're living in today. Yeah. I feel like each character can reflect a human that you've met in your life. Oh, God, and, yeah. like, they're similar to that person. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying to show you, like, yeah. It's like, a, it's, a, it's like, that's what art is. That's what cinema always was. Like everything that even from the old times was the reason why we had entertainment and stuff was to like show real life in a different light mm -hmm. that like, you know, and that's what this show does. Yeah. Is it's showing us in a different light what real life is like, mm -hmm. but like through entertainment. So yeah, it's like almost tragic, it is. which just yeah. goes back to the whole like Shakespeare paradox to me. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, all the same thing. I still can't believe when you told me that that was Dinah was one that ate their mom. Yeah. Or Aaron's mom. Isn't that like unbelievable? That's kind of a spoiler, but not, not. It's not a spoiler because if you know, you know. But the way we've been watching this has been such a long time mm -hmm. that you're probably going to forget a couple things. I forgot. So, yeah, like, I forgot. What... I wanted to help inform you that that. Her yeah, face, because I forgot what known. she looked like. Yeah. If you yeah. if you remembered her face exactly, you'd be like, oh yeah. Yep. And that's. Yeah. That's awful. Isn't that insane? His first wife ate his second wife. Yeah. That's really sad. Yeah. And then little Zeke. Maybe he's going to come into play. Maybe. Cause Ze oh, because Zeke. Whoa. So Zeke is Aaron's half brother. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He has a half brother out there and he doesn't even know it. Yeah. He's a boogerhead. 
Yeah. Dang. Wow. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Yeah. Hmm. That was just so much. Yeah. yeah. Now that you see, this is what is out there. Yeah. This whole time. Yeah, and I mean, it looks like you know our world, like you know, years and years and years ago. Yeah. But well, look at all like the symbolism of history. Like, yeah. Look at all that, like the history. Like we got the Marlians are training all the leftover Eldians, like Krisha and all of them, mm -hmm. that like no, we're the best. We're the best here. Yep. Like, screw you Eldians. We're trying to wipe you guys all out, so you better obey us, because mm -hmm. we're going to go to that island and kill all of your ancestors, kind of yeah. thing. But then we got uh, mm -hmm. First Wife. Right. She uh, is from the Royal Bloodline, so she all of a sudden walks in with their history. Remember how, like, Grisha was like, how did you read all this stuff? He's like, because he wanted to learn the truth. Right. And from their history point of view, the Marlians are bad and, you know, everything that's happened. Right, because everyone always told him that they were bad. Yeah. That the Eldians are bad, but actually the Mar Mar Marlene. Marlanians, they're bad. I mean, from whatever way you look at it, everyone's bad or good. You know, because technically the Eldians were ruling the Marlians, and then the Marlians got sick of it, and from the inside broke the Eldians apart, and now they rule. So it's just like, it's like real life. Like, yeah. war, like so now... Everyone like in the history, but like even our history books to this day, a lot of it's probably bullshit. But that's what probably. our countries are telling us. It's like propaganda. Oh yeah, I think we live that every single day here. Yeah, our stupid every, government. Everyone's governments like is just gonna propagate propaganda for their people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so we don't really know the, the truth. No one knows the truth, but no. like we say we do. But we don't. Yeah. So it's the same thing here, where it's just like the Marlians are trying to brainwash. Like Grisha, the leftover Eldians, that right. your people are bad, so you have to be here. We be have to here control and you. You have to obey us. Yeah. And, but how? Like how old was Zeke when that happened? Like what in the world? How did he do that? I mean, how did he? Yeah. He looks so young to go against his parents. Yeah. And went with his grandparents. Like. Yeah. Is it? You know, like that's a lot of crap to put on a kid and. Yeah, well, yeah, you don't do that. I mean, that was kind of bad on their part, thinking this little kid could do that. And all of this happened, just like the episode, like Chris even said in the book, like, I'm going to start on that day, which was the day his sister died, and that's the day everything changed for him, where it was like, fuck these people. Yeah. Here she got eaten by dog. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't appreciate that one. Yeah, I, I have a love-hate relationship with this episode. I love this episode because of all the lore. It's just insane. So much information. Well, yeah, because I mean, we just learned out like, everything. Well, everything, everything, because now, I mean, there is a whole nother world. They've been living in like this dark ages. Yeah. Where all they have to do is break free and they can go here and take them over. But we're like little, a whole continent versus just well, us and our walls. And now do you see like why the, now do you understand like why titans keep coming to us to our walls like aaron because of what you just saw oh yeah they're just injecting the eldians from their country and right make turning them into pure titans which are the dumb ones right and throwing them at us i, I when i say us i'm always going to use this frame because in my perspective us is aaron and aaron. our people and because that were yes yeah so that's eldians. us i will that say us, us. yeah yeah, yeah. I know no, I'll say us too because I totally understand that. Because I mean, from whatever way you look yeah, at it, it's because so, you know, they're they're still doing it. They're yeah. still that's why there's always so many. They just keep sending them whenever they do something bad over there. They're like, all right, we're gonna send you. It's called paradise. But then the Aldeans that are doing that too, and they're bringing them over that way, and so they're more or less Aldeans eating Aldeans. Or oh. eating their own people. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Yeah. Now we know where Titans come from. Yeah. And we know it all started from, like they said, from this figure, Ymir. Mm-hmm. The, the true... The original yeah. Titan. But uh, did you also catch... I don't know. If I'm, there's so much spoiling going on, but I don't care. Like, it's not really spoiling. I'm just trying to help you through the motions because mm -hmm. this is so much information. I'd rather have you all know it now. So when you go into the next parts, everything makes more sense to you. Right. Well, now I don't want... I've been looking forward to 
Armin going to the ocean, but if he goes over there, then they'll kill him. Oh, wait a minute. No, because he's a titan. <laughs> <laughs> so he can actually go over there. Well, yeah, why don't they, as titans, go over there and... Kick their ass? And eat them all. Yeah. And then they'll take control of the country. Or whatever they're calling it. Yeah. No, because that's mean. That would be cannibalism, <laughs> and that is frowned upon in most societies, except this one. <laughs> except, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, if you think about it, they are turning, they're turning them into cannibalism. Mm -hmm. so we're just eating our own people. Yeah, we're just eating people. They're cannibals. Yeah. Man. And that's only like the surface of everything. That's just basically everything that, you just, that I just taught you and you just watched was like a history lesson of right. the world. It's not what's happening now. Now you actually have to like learn more. Yeah. Because none of this is spoilers. This is like a history lesson. Yeah, this is like well, a big history lesson because now we know how it all came about. Yeah. And why they're over there. And... Yeah. And why, now how come there's always Titans coming? Yeah. Um, but overall, as you can see, it's all tragic. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. Funny. But you called it immediately when you said, like, remind you of the Holocaust. Yeah, because they have, you just have to wear the armband so that, you know, you knew that they were Jewish. Um, so it's kind of like the same thing. People hated the Jews, so they, you know. We're Jewish. I know, we're Jewish. In <laughs> case you were oh not. Yeah, and then that's what, you know, kind of the same thing. They would take them and they would more or less kill them, which is what they're doing on here, but they're turning them into Titans. Yeah. that's And again, like you said last episode, the symbolism. Lots of symbolism, yeah. Because right when I saw the armband, I was like, oh, man. Uh oh This is bad. Isn't that crazy, though? Like, there's a whole other world happening. Yeah. While, while we're here fighting these damn titans and trying to survive, the whole freaking world out there. Yeah, like, but there's probably, I'm also guessing, like, you see that part. But I think there's, like, more. Like, you know how we have all of our... Countries. Like our world, yeah, we have all these other countries. Some are good, some are bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with, if it is Earth, then when they get there, if they ever get there, then they can go and to the ocean and live their own lives and in like peace. better parts and, of the world. Yeah. Not have everybody like coming after everyone. Yeah. But they'll still be tightened, so. Well, they can control it. Yeah. A lot to think about. Yeah, I'm going with happy, happy. Yeah, we'll sign off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys for the next episode of Attack. Peace and love, bitches. Mm -hmm.